Hello all, welcome to my video review of possibly the worst incubator ever. First off, a bit of background. I don't recommend it, but I've made DIY incubators using eBay digital thermostats. You can make one out of anything with a heating element. I've repurposed a microwave oven with a 60 watt bulb and a fan, and also a rice cooker. My last incubator was an old polystyrene automatic turning BellSouth 100. It was having trouble getting to 38 degrees even when I replaced the thermostat, so I decided it was time for a new one. The incubator in question doesn't even have a name. It's listed on eBay as 24 egg incubator, fully automatic digital LED turning for chicken, ducks, eggs, poultry. The main draw card is the price. I paid $60. I also like the size as I could keep it inside during winter. The viewing window in the top is another good feature. It lets you see what's happening without upsetting the humidity and putting unhatched chickens at risk. What I didn't count on was the menus being overly complicated. The owner's manual did not correspond with the incubator. Its main bit of tech was the alarm system. It had a very loud buzzer that went off when the temperature and humidity was out of range. This was the first thing to go when it went off at 4am and I snipped off one of the legs of the buzzer. Then a series of failures. The humidity sensor showed an incorrect reading. I think it may have got wet. Next one fan went very noisy and needed replacing. The major design flaw with this incubator is all the business end is at the bottom. Incubators get really dirty when the eggs hatch and need to be cleaned thoroughly before reuse and electronics and water don't mix. Other problems, the egg turner holds the eggs vertically which is not natural and causes problems with the air cell. It was also too close to the lid. Duck eggs and larger chicken eggs will hit the top of the lid every 10 or 15 minutes. Yes it turns the eggs way too often. Next the mesh in the bottom had large holes. Our duckling's feet got caught and he injured his legs. We had some success so there is nothing to complain about there, but we also lost quite a few that didn't hatch. In conclusion, I suggest buying a quality incubator. You want a hatch rate well above 90%. You can't beat a good mother hen, but even then, sometimes things don't work out. If you're having a high failure rate, you need to find out why. Sometimes it can be due to a genetic fault in the breed, or eggs being mishandled, or perhaps too old. With an incubator, humidity, egg turning, temperature, all kinds of things can go wrong. A certain amount of eggs will be infertile or may have failed at various stages. You need to check to find out why. All is not lost, I bought a new one. This time I opted for a Janol, a brand I've heard of. Brinzi is another popular brand. The Janol is much sturdier and has none of the design flaws of the other one. No review as yet because it's on its first run, but everything looks promising. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe. Comment if you have any suggestions or tell us about your success with a particular incubator.